Welcome back to another day with the Safe Moon Court Documents. I'm just gonna upload my other video here while we're talking. Publish. Thank you very much. Okay, so this chapter Safe Moon Tokens and Safe Moon Business. A Safe Moon Tokens. The Safe Moon Token is a speculative crypto assets created in early 2021 by Nagy and Smith. Nagy and Smith. Hmm. Specifically, the Safe Moon tokens are blockchain based digital assets known as BEP20 or BIP20 tokens. They are created using the Binance Smart Chain mainnet blockchain, which is explained below. In June 2017, Binance conducted an ICO of its own ERC20 token, BNB. Binance then la launched its crypto asset exchange webs website on July 14, 2017. ERC20 is an application standard that the creator of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, first proposed in 2015. ERC20 is a standard that allows for the creation of smart contract tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, known as ERC20 tokens. ERC20 tokens all function similarly by design, that is, they are compliant with the ERC20 application standard. Some pr properties related to ERC20 tokens are customizable. Custom customizable yeah such as the total supply of tokens the tokens ticker symbol and the tokens name all ERC20 tokens transactions uh, however occur over the Ethereum blockchain none of them operates over its own blockchain ERC20 tokens are sim simple and easy to deploy Anyone with a basic understanding of Ethereum can use the ERC20 protocol to create her own ERC20 tokens, which she, she, not he, they, which they can then distribute and make available for purchase. Even people without any technical expertise can have their own ERC20 token created for them which can then be marketed to investors. As explained by Binance Academy, Binance Chain was launched by Binance in April 2019, and Binance Smart Chain BSC is best described as a blockchain that runs in parallel to the Binance Chain. Unlike Binance Chain, BSC boasts smart contract functionality and com compatibility with Ethereum. Okay, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. I hope you don't, it's not too loud. I'm actually living right in town and I have a train station uh, close by. So when the um, train go by, I have the windows open. It's really hot here in Sweden. So yeah, let's continue. Further, BIP or let's say BEP20 token. BEP20 is a token standard on Binance Smart Chain that extends ERC20, the most common Ethereum token standard. You can think of it as a blueprint for tokens that defines how they can be spent, who can spend them and other rules for their usage. After a BEP20 token is created, it can be traded, spent or otherwise uh, transacted with acted with yeah on February 15 2022 Binance announced that the Binance smart chain would become the BNB smart chain on March 8 2021 safe moon launched its safe moon tokens on the Binance smart chain ecosystem starting on that date the tokens were available to the public on decentralized crypto asset exchanges including the exchange known as PancakeSwap. As of December 2021, there were approximately 3 million SafeMoon token holders. Hmm. And 2 million of those were fake or wallets or just empty air wallets. 
the name Safe Moon is derived from the phrase safely to the moon. Crash and burn, baby. Which suggests that a token is meant not to rise in price only but to rise in price safely. Notably, the term moon has a special meaning in the context of crypto assets, where it is often empl employed as a verb, mooning, to describe a cryptocurrency that is under a strong upward market trend. Indeed, the Safe Moon white paper, the long white paper, released before the Safe Moon token launched, it littered with space theme imagery. Uh, including a full page picture of an ast astronaut on the cover page. The white paper explains that the protocol on which the Safe Moon token is built is designed to drive the price to stratospheric oh, this is just bullshit all time highs. You see where it's going now. Crash and burn, baby. Through so called static rewards that encourage holders to hang on to their tokens and thus discourage selling. According to the long white paper that I probably nobody seen, uh, not today. I didn't see it just uh, last year when I got into Safe Moon in like August. Then there was some bullshit, another bullshit uh, white paper as well. Okay, according to the long white paper, the Safe Moon tokens protocol employs three simple functions reflection, plus LP, liquidity pool acquisition, plus burn. Each time a Safe Moon token is traded, the transaction is taxed a 10% fee. Safe Moon has stated that the purpose of this tax is to encourage long term holding by distinct disincentivizing. Ex Existing token holders from selling their Safe Moon tokens. Of the 10% tax from each transaction, half is proportionally transferred by Safe Moon into the liquidity pools containing BNB, Binance token, and Safe Moon tokens, speci specifically of the 5% that is. Never heard this word before. Per poor purportedly allocated to liquidity pools 2.5% is sold by safe moon on the market for BNB that's that BNB is placed into liquidity pools along with the remaining 2.5% of the safe moon tokens the purpose of the liquidity pools according to the long white paper is to support the price floor of the tokens but as everybody knows John Caroni is stealing from the liquidity pool. Yes, you heard it correctly from my my voice. Stealing. The remaining 5% generated from Safe Moon 10% tax is re redistributed to all existing holders by Safe Moon. These payments are referred to as reflections. Ariaga has publicly compared these reflections to stock dividends. Okay. Critically, as explained in a separate white paper issued by Safe Moon, the short white paper, reflections would be allocated pro rata among all token holders, including a burn address, an address uh, containing Safe Moon tokens that would be removed from circulation. Circul circulation. Sorry. The long white paper explained that at launch, the total supplies, supply of Safe Moon tokens would be 1 quadrillion, but 223 trillion would be allocated to the burn address. As a result, at the upset, approximately 22% of all reflections generated from each Safe Moon token the transaction would be paid to the burn address and removed from circulus, circulation. Because a certain percentage, percentage of each Safe Moon token transacted is burned, the supply of Safe Moon is designed to decrease over time. Moreover, the protocol underlying Safe Moon tokens is designed to permit Safe Moon to engage in manual burns of Safe Moon tokens, meaning that Safe Moon can un 
unilaterally destroy safe tokens and thus reduce supply at will. According to the long white paper with the manual burn function and a depreciating depreciating okay sorry about that supply even a small holder at the beginning could potentially walk away with big money at the end of the token's lifespan indeed immediately following that sentence the long white paper includes a graph comparing supply and price and showing the price rises steadily as the price as supply supply decreases the unmistakable intent inference is that the price of safe one tokens will increase as the supply supply decreases over time i have to drink some water i'm sorry okay not only does the long white paper suggest that the price of safe tokens will increase over time it claims that safe moon has a step-by-step -step, step plan to ensure 100% safety this 100% safety is John stealing the money from you at step one okay development developers burn all tokens in developer wallet prior to launch uh, at step two there is a fair launch on deck sale at step three the liquidity pool locked on dex locker for four years at step four liquidity pool generated with every trade and locked on pay pancake the latter two steps indicate the safe moon tokens placed into the liquidity pools cannot be withdrawn by safe moon for a period of four years and as everybody knows that's not true John again is a really good fraudster or he got caught so maybe not that bad but good indeed shortly after launching the safe moon token safe moon similarly rep represented on its Twitter page that it had locked the liquidity pools stating on March 19 the moon just became even more safe hashtag safe now completed completed is the four-year lock on the liquidity on the second liquidity pool we know we now have two locked liquidity pools expiring on may 1st 2025 according to binance academy safe stands for the secure asset fund for users and is used colloquially to mean funds are safe Unlike some crypto assets that have a real world purpose known as utility tokens, safe moon tokens have no real world purpose. Nasdaq, for example, has noted it does, doesn't have any use cases or advantages over other cryptocurrencies. It's just how good they are with uh, lying to their safe moon cult followers. Others have likewise observed that SafeMoon has no particular use and will never have. In addition, in contrast to decentralized crypto assets like Ether, 50% or more of SafeMoon tokens are owned by SafeMoon itself. Moreover, oh, this is good. 50% is uh, owned by SafeMoon itself. I'm going to come back to that. Moreover, as of early March 2022, the 10 largest holders controlled nearly 30% of the supply or supply of safe moon tokens. Hmm. Okay, let's go to number 20 down here. I have to see the references. Here we go. Uh, okay, I have to do this. Can't okay, allow. And then we go there. Here we go. Uh, no thanks. Okay, what is this is from May 25th, 2021. Okay, what is safe moon? Why is it taking the crypto market by storm? Okay, um, okay I just have to see this again. Where are we? Oh, sorry. 
Uh, right there. 50% is owned by Safeman themselves. Okay. Okay, so here we are uh, on that link or the reference. One more red flag is the fact that 50% of the total suppl supply is put. Okay, this is the V1 they're talking about. But one more red flag. Yeah, uh, put in the creator's hands. The safe one price is purely based on hype and the safe moon rednecks or safe moon cult. Uh, but think about one thing. Even if this would be one and 50% would be then it in the for the V1 in the uh, developers uh, or creators here is to say their wallets or they can control that of course they would have bridged it over to the V2 because they still want to have as much money or something as they could let's see what's them just after publishing the Certic audit the team announced on Twitter the same one was Certic approved. Whereas Certic the auditor claims that its report audit report is neither approval or endorsement. Yeah. However, due to the unregulated cryptocurrency market nature, the Safe Moon team has decided to hold Ask Me Anything session to reassure. Okay. Um. One funny thing is. Um, the safe team hasn't wanted to do a uh, audit for the V2 tokens. Don't forget about that. There must be a reason because Certic here did not I would say they did not approve of the safe moon V1 protocol token. So the thing is what are safe moon hiding with the V2 token that they don't want an auditor like Certic to find out and tell everybody else that's a good question think about it and until next time see you later